let's go from the Shakespeare and the structure and the layers and the profundity in Hamlet. And mm -hmm. kind of, let's slide across and talk Lovely about... Lovely segue. <laughs> <laughs> and talk about one other stunning performance for me that I just rocked. It was in the Mikado. Oh my and gosh. you played... It was Brian McDonald directing yeah. and you played... Pooba. Pooba. Yeah. And I remember watching it at Stratford thing. who is this? How does he do that? It's the perhaps the farthest extreme from Edgar and Hamlet in terms of this physically funny, physically witty, elegant. How do you do that? How do you have that scope, that range? I, I, this is odd because I, I can't categorize it. I don't know what you mean, but because I think that's everybody has that. That's that's what I think. But it, it's interesting you mentioned that show because that was that snuck up on us. We didn't know it would be the success it was. Susan Benson designed it, and it was a magnificent oh. design. Yeah. Brian McDonald directed it, and it was... He was a, masterful. It really was great. a masterful piece. Yeah. What was it like being inside it? It was... You know what? It started out just like any other show. The year before, I'd, I'd been doing, you know, like a lot of comic characters, a couple of serious ones. And then Brian came in and said... Uh, I think I worked with him one other time doing Ken... Uh, Candide and uh, he said I'd like you to audition for the Mikado I didn't know what the Mikado was I barely knew what Gilbert and Sullivan was but he said <laughs> I said I'd like you to come in I'd like you and Eric Donkin to audition together I think I walked in with Eric we looked at each other hi because we never really worked together and uh, we did maybe about a minute or two of the scene we didn't even get through it and Brian said thank you <laughs> we turned him like I guess didn't like us <laughs> So <laughs> next to Eric, whatever, we found out that we were doing the roles. And uh, Eric was Coco, and again, he was brilliant in that role. He was brilliant. And I was uh, Jerry Lewis on Quaaludes, I think, you know, <laughs> doing the Mikado, doing uh, Poopa. Is that but, how you approached it, Jerry Lewis on Quaaludes? Well, I think that's what people saw, but I, <laughs> no. I just, I had, I had a dear friend back then. And you know, sometimes you have to borrow from life. And I'd always thought, this friend of mine was like the most elegant, uh, gentleman, suave, debonair, all the things you can imagine that a person could be, very European in his look, and wasn't necessarily the, the handsomest man in the world, but he could attract more women than anybody else I've ever seen in my life, just through his demeanor. And I said, you know, that's fascinating. I wish I could pay homage to that on stage somehow. And he had a way of saying, uh, answering questions going, mm-hmm. And I said, oh, I could extrapolate on that, couldn't I? So I started going, instead of going, mm-hmm, I went, oh, yeah. And it kind of expanded from that. So I started adding these things to the show. Um, and Brian gave us a lot of liberty. I was making things up. I was adding to the list of characters this Poobah was supposed to be, you know, like head groom and scooper of the palatial polo ponies. That was something I made up, and he said, well, keep it in, keep it in. And then, oh, there's a whole bunch of stories about the Mikado, but it just grew because it was fun. Brian it, McDonald made it fun, or the story made it fun, or how did that, or the company it, made it fun? The company made it fun. It, the company made it joyous, but Brian allowed us to have fun. He had a structure as well, like his choreography was very exacting and very demanding and very beautiful. Yes. And Sue's, Sue Benson's costumes were astounding and the set was minimal but brilliant. And somehow it just all came together. And one of the most important elements was the joy of it. That the, the company felt the constant, I've never felt so much support amongst the company in my life. Everybody's saying congratulating or stuff like that and constantly always having fun and the energy was always up never down. 